The National Communications Authority, NCA, in September 2017, sanctioned 131 FM authorization holders found to have committed various infractions pertaining to the authorizations to operate as contained in Section 13 of the Electronics Communications Act 2009, Act 775. 34 of the sanctioned stations had their licenses revoked because their authorizations had expired and were operating illegally. A further 13 FM authorization holders were issued with reprieves as pertained to their authorizations. This followed the completion of a nationwide FM spectrum audit conducted to determine compliance of authorization holders with their authorization conditions and to determine which FM stations were in operations or otherwise. The FM Spectrum audit also formed part of a wider ongoing audit of all services regulated by the NCA, including TV and ISP services, according to a statement from the NCA. The affected stations were given 30 days to settle their indebtedness or submit the relevant documents as indicated in the letters sent them by the NCA. Of the notable stations, Radio XYZ was fined 4,090,000 Ghana cities. Atinka FM fined 14,800,000 Ghana cities. While Radio Gold and Atlantic's radio picked up the heftiest fines with 61,330,000 Ghana cities and 60,350,000 Ghana cities, respectively. Radio Gold's authorization expired on 6th September 2000, and the NDC affiliated station owned by Network Broadcasting Limited failed to renew it since. We began this exercise in 2017. It was highly pub published. Uh, at the time when the audit was done, a decision was made to uh, apply sanctions to uh, FM authorization holders who had their authorization expired. So we relied on our schedule of penalties, and so we applied sanctions accordingly. Uh, most of them were fine. At some point in time, uh, several others decide to go to seek redress in the court. The law allowed them to do that. So some went to the high court, others went to uh, the electronic communication tribunal. In 2019, the National Communications Authority shut down Radio Gold 90.5 FM and Radio XYZ 93.1 FM, both based in Accra. Officials of the NCE went to the premises of the stations with armed security personnel while they were on air and ordered their immediate closure. According to the NCA, both stations went off air as an enforcement action in view of the decision of the Electronic Communications Tribunal. It also noted that the stations were operating without valid authorizations, hence the shutdown. The National Communications Authority again, on Tuesday, October 12, 2021, issued a statement indicating that the governing board of the National Communications Authority, NCA, at a board meeting held on 11th October 2021, approved the grant of a total of 133 FM radio broadcasting authorizations, which included new applications from entities whose FM radio stations were shut down after the 2017 FM audit, as well as existing stations, which applied for renewal of their expired FM radio broadcasting authorizations. The statement said, the stations included those whose licenses were revoked after an audit in 2017, which affected Radio Gold and Radio XYZ. The approval, according to the statement, was subject to the applicants attending a sensitization workshop on the terms and conditions of FM radio broadcasting authorizations.